If you haven't done so already, please change your video viewer to full screen mode for best results. Welcome to the introductory tutorial for the Visual 3D Terrain Editor, which allows you to build vast and detailed landscapes starting out from a simple piece of flat land. What you are seeing now is a short preview of the Lizard Rock Island, which was created from scratch using this toolset with just a few hours of work. Now we will walk you through the next seven minutes of sculpting the Lizard Rock demo scene, which is being played back at two times the normal speed. In this tutorial, we will show you the sculpting and painting of the main lizard lair, which is located at the front right portion of the island, with a jagged wall surrounding it to prevent access to the ocean waters. Here, we have used the flatten brush to create a sunken flat area to provide ample room for the main lair inhabitants. Now, we use the raise brush to create the jagged wall, which will surround this main lair and prevent access from the ocean waters. Now that we have completed the base shape of Lizard Rock, it's time to apply the initial coat of procedural paint. This is easy to do. Select the Paint tab from the Terrain Editor panel, and then double-click the procedural brush from the list of texture layers. This will show you a list of predefined procedural brushes contained in your asset library. Click Edit Palette to bring up this dialog, and then select the Load Palette button to see the list of predefined palettes in your asset library. By default, in Beta 6, the Lost Isle Paint Palette is already selected for you. Now select Paint All from the top of the Terrain Editor window to apply your selected procedural brush and paint palette to this entire terrain. Notice how the paint is procedurally applied to your entire scene to highlight your ridges with rock and your flat play areas with various types of grass. Now we will do further editing to our front area to mature its playability even more. If you watch carefully, you may notice how Control z is being used periodically to fix mistakes instantly. Here we are raising the front wall even more with jagged peaks to create a more dramatic appearance. Now we will use a smoothing brush to reduce the steepness of the vertical slopes of the front wall. Currently, it is a good idea to eliminate these vertical slopes as this causes noticeable stretching to your painted textures. Realmware has plans to eliminate this stretching effect with techniques that will be introduced after version 1 of Visual 3D is released. Notice how we have used the smoothing brush to reduce the steepness of our outer walls. Next, we will use the flatten brush to extend a new shoreline area just outside the jagged wall. This new area may serve as a good landing spot for incoming ocean vessels. Notice the height readout at the bottom of the editor window, which indicates the altitude of the terrain at the brush center point. This height readout helps you to know the target altitude of the flatten brush, so that you can correctly adjust the shoreline areas such as this one. We conclude this tutorial with the same short clip of the Lizard Rock sample terrain, which was created from scratch using Visual 3D's terrain editor with just a few hours of work. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and have found it useful for the creation of your own outdoor environments.